Good evening. Hey, this is the uh, Sunday Night Recap and Outlook video for EMIS Trade. And uh, it is Sunday, January 9th, 2011. Let's take a look at last week and see what happened. We had a phenomenal week. As you can see from the videos last week, we were just on fire last week. Um, I spoke on Thursday about outliers and building day by day, week by week, month by month. That's how you trade. Uh, last week was a great example. We built day by day. Uh, even though we started our very first trade of the year off as a loser, uh, we still built uh, day by day and then of course last week uh, on Friday guys uh, we had three trades and they were all three losers um, unfortunate but they do it does happen doesn't happen very often and here at Emis trade we're not going to hide that from you we're going to let you know uh, when there are losers because you'll be able to see it in plain sight right on our spreadsheets off of our website but the important point is is that the week was a winner. If you were trading with us, um, you should have come out ahead for the week. So anyway, we had a great week. We look forward to building on that next week uh, to build on a great month. So let's take a look at next week as far as news is concerned. Nothing real earth-shattering on Monday and Tuesday. When we start to move down the week, we start to see a lot more news, especially on Thursday and Friday. We have European announcements coming out. Uh, we do have some PPI coming out and jobless claims and of course, the consumer price index, CPI, retail sales, and some uh, consumer sentiment. Uh, these things should move the market, uh, should give us some volatility, some trading opportunities within there. So we'll look for that. Uh, levels, guys, for Monday. Let's take a look at that. Um, as I mentioned last week, I was looking for this 60 level, 61 level, and that 60 can actually. We blew through that and went down to the 57 level, but we ended up closing this candle. This is a 15-minute chart. This is interesting to take a look at. We ended up uh, closing this level uh, around that 60 area. Now, this 60 area could be an important area, so you may want to mark that down in your book and take a look at that. Otherwise, um, I am still watching the 57, the 56 area. Very, very important. Actually, you could even say that's down to 55. Um, and then, of course, this little area, the zone right here, I like the 73, 74 as a target. And then on the upside further, that 77, 78 area. Now, if we tend to get some strength, which I anticipate going above either uh, the 70, uh, 74, or excuse me, 78 area or below that 55 level uh, this week. Uh, I don't think this range will hold this week, but if we do, I'm looking for 88 on the upside and definitely 50 on the low side there. So there's your ranges for Monday, probably the early part of the week. Right now, gang, we are right in the middle. Be very, very careful uh, in the middle. Wait till we get a direction. We anticipate a direction. We'll take advantage of that. We are very patient. As you can see, guys, let's, if you go to our website at emistrade.com, take a look. Up here, you can press on the link, and you can see our, our trade performance, our spreadsheets. Here they are. Here's all of our trades for last week. We did not trade very much, but we were able to pull out roughly $20,000, give or take a few, a few dollars on that, which is still phenomenal. As our mantra is, trade less, earn more. Come visit us, sign up for our newsletter. Come down, take a free trial, five-day free trial, $10. See what we're all about. See how we make our calls. Trade less, earn more, gang. Emistrade.com. Take care. Trade well. See you tomorrow.